and this is a Countach quattro valvole 1986. The car talks to the driver. The driver has to understand the car, the language of the car. The car is a, a human being. There is kind of uh, mutual understanding. Countach brought a new atmosphere at the company, a little bit too high, so the car always generate kind of oversteer, so you know I'm, and this is why you have to control the car and drive, and drive with a certain, let's say, feeling. This is one of the reasons why the car is so pleasant to drive, you know, because it's a constant challenge between between the car and the power of the car and yourself. The reaction. Your heroes. That's not the case with Countach. It's about fun, it's about passion, it's about sport, it's about exhilaration. about sensory input, just the thrill, learning how to drive it and mastering how it works and it talking to you and you commanding it appropriately and working as a unit. Those are things that only analog and older cars give variants of a Countach. The 1988 is one of the final variations. There's a fuel injected US spec and there's the downdraft four valve per cylinder carbureted European spec. The one we drove today was the carbureted downdraft Countach, which was the highest horsepower Countach ever made at 455 and was the fastest production car at that time. The feeling of driving the Countach can be exhilarating, it can be exhausting. You have instant throttle response. There's not even a fraction of a second delay when you push a throttle and something happens. First you hear the carbs, and then you hear the exhaust come out. All that is a symphony. Sometimes you smell the gas. I love to work on them as well. And growing up on a ranch, we repaired lots of things. It was fascinating to learn how engines worked. And when I started collecting cars, I was curious how they worked differently. Then you learn what it likes, what it doesn't like, and learning how it works, and finding that sweet spot where everything is harmonious with you and vice versa. Just get in it and go. There's a bar in far Pompeii. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man band, and he'll hoot his flute for you. Come fly with me, let's. And, uh, oh, it's just amazing to be doing this. I must be the only person on Earth who is able to do this at the moment. What's that? Angels too, cause we're together. Weather-wise, it's such a lovely day. You just say the words and we'll beat the birds down to act. A full cup bay, it's perfect for a flying honeymoon. Say, come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly. Back 
Wake up, let's fly away. are actually very, very, very nice to drive. And once you're on the highway, this is really where the Kutash excels. These cars love the open road.
thank you guys again for watching Curated TV. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. I think we just got free parking. And yes, another upside of daily driving a Kutosh free parking.